Hi there, my name's Joe and welcome to this Apprentice Nation short set, all about how you can use your social action experience to help land that job that you want. So today, I'm gonna to be giving you some insights into why and how you can talk about social action on your CV and applications. First of all, let's refresh. What do I mean when I say the word social action? Well, my good friend Jess actually covers this in another more detailed video, Demystifying Social Action, which you should probably check out after this. But for now, social action is all about people coming together to solve an issue in their community, doing something good. There are loads of ways that you might have been or you could be involved in social action, from fundraising for a cause close to your heart volunteering your time at a local charity shop or dog shelter, or even campaigning to make where you live a better place. All of these come with great experience and skills that you're gonna to wanna to highlight on your CV. So why do people talk about volunteering on their CV and in applications? Well, it depends on who you are, the work experience you have, or the job you're applying for. For some people, the job they're applying for might be specifically linked to the volunteering that they've done. So for example, if you were a special constable in the police and then you apply to be a police officer, then obviously you would want to mention that you've already had the skills and the training in that specific role. For others, it might be a good thing to put on their CV simply because they don't have much work experience, if any. And so they rely on social action to prove they have the skills and experience, whatever they've done. And this might be you. Well, in any case, we know that hiring managers and recruiters love seeing volunteering and other social action on CVs, because generally it shows that you care. You're a well-rounded person and you're committed to something. Simon Sinek, who delivers some fantastic TED Talks about leadership, once said, you don't hire for skills, you hire for attitude. You can always teach skills. And what better way to show that you have a great attitude than contributing to the area that you live in? But enough from me. Let me introduce you to Susie King, who is a well-being activist who shared some great advice for us. Why do you think it's important for young people, and in fact anyone, to get involved in social action? I, I think for me, the world belongs to us all. And I know it's a massive cliche, but you can build your own environment and you can influence your own environment. And not enough people are, are standing up and doing this. And there are some fantastic um, examples out there, with it, whether it's in sort of the climate question mm -hmm. or even like a footballer talking about making sure kids eat properly. It's, it's those kind of people who lead a, a shining light and they've just decided to step up and do it. I think for people who are a lot younger than I am, um, I think that this is the world that you have now we haven't left it to you in a great place. It's up to you to make the changes now. You know, it's not about what you leave for your children, it's what's happening right now. A little bit about um, how you've kind of captured your social action experience. How, how have you done that? So um, for me, um, it was all about, whilst I was in the moment, making sure I recorded what was going on. So for example, I did the mental health project. We literally did a retreat, middle of nowhere, but we got the photos, we were taking photos of people sat um, outside a barn in little groups having these conversations. But when you look back at it, you think, yeah, that's representative of what actually happened. Uh, and then you'll take it back and you probably build that into a slide deck or, or you'll do some sort of PowerPoint presentation with it. Or, you know, it might be just that you print things off, but you have that there and then at the time. And then you, you have it when you need it. So when you start thinking about, right, I'm going to build this CV about what I have done, you've got all these um, elements to pull from and it's physical evidence almost um, you may have a recommendation from somebody um, who's said yeah they did a brilliant job make sure you've got that have that email have that um, piece of script there to add in have a link to the actual project itself if it, if it was something that, that physically became an entity on it in its own right and think about you physically being there in the picture to show it's you. Yeah, yeah. We use a lot of abstract images, but think about, yeah, this is me sat here talking. I'm doing a presentation. If you looked at my LinkedIn profile, 
the actual cover photo is me on a stage talking about mental health. Last question for you, Susie, if you, if you don't mind. Um, words of wisdom. Um, you, you've talked about portfolio, you've talked about sort of your social action experience. Words of wisdom for people who want to be involved in social action. What do you Get say? out there and do it. Again, it's that passion. Find something that speaks to you. Find something that you have a skill set for or that you want to grow your skill set in. It might be something you've never thought of doing or you've always wanted to try. Go out there and do it in this space. Make it personal. Make it a personal story. So if you're telling somebody about it, you can just rant about it because it comes off the tongue so easily because it's something you love. Yeah. People always say, find something you love to do as work and it'll never feel like work. Mm. And if it's something that is then going to make a difference to yourself and other people, that's even better. Massive thanks to Susie. Some great advice on building your portfolio whilst on a social action project. So here we go. I'm going to teach you a super easy way to write and talk about your social action experiences on your CV, in applications and interviews. It's called the STAR model. The STAR stands for Situation, Task, Action, Response. So let's take it step by step with an example. Situation. This is all about setting the scene and giving the context. So for example, every year my college does fundraising for a local charity. My friends and I decided to organize a charity gig in the college. Task. Now this is the specific task that you had to complete. So I took on the role of project leader, meaning I had to make sure everyone was on track and had everything they needed. I also took a lead in organizing the finances. Action. What were the specific actions that you took to complete that task? So every week, I would lead a meeting with my friends after college, checking in with them to make sure that I had everything they needed. And I also created a GoFundMe page to collect donations and a logbook to ensure we knew where all the money we raised was kept. Response. What was the result? We managed to raise over £550 for the charity. The team were highly motivated and the event ran smoothly. And that's it. There you have it. So next time you update your CV, give that a go. Make sure you include some key achievements from your experiences and in your applications and interviews, use the STAR model to structure your answer. Other Apprentice Nation quick sets I'd recommend. How to think beyond your grade when writing your CV, demystifying social action, and what is a social entrepreneur? Mahatma Gandhi once said, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others.